What's up guys, Dan from Active Water Sports here. I am going to show you today how to swap out your old anchor light. Uh, if it's burned out many, many times, you're getting tired of that, you're gonna take the old bulb and replace it with one of these new LED bulbs. And if you need to replace the housing completely, we're gonna show you the steps involved in just swapping that whole thing out and updating it for an Atwood LED anchor light completely. Um, all you're gonna need for this is a Phillips head screwdriver and um, maybe some needle nose pliers for the crimp. So I'm gonna lower the tower down, make it a little bit easier, uh, and we'll get back to it. After we got the tower down, uh, it's a lot easier to kind of access and see all this. By the way, this is a 2014 Malibu LSV, uh, but this is a very common anchor light on many different models of boats in different years. So this should apply to most of you guys out there. Um, all you gotta do to get to the bulb on the inside is just do a little half turn, a little quarter turn. Um, aha, as you can see, we've got a busted up gasket, which is probably why the light bulb went bad. Um, and then if you zoom in a little closer here, you can see the bulb kind of just wedges in here. Just be careful shimming it out. You can't really see, but this thing's all busted up. And then all you do is just replace it with that new bulb. This is the complete kit. You do get a new fresh gasket and housing on that guy. Uh, the only other thing to note is just lining it up with the teeth on the inside. Do a little half turn there. Now let's fire it up, see how she looks. Boom, brand new LED light. Uh, so 1995 on activewake.com. It's gonna last you forever. And now we'll show you the process to completely swap it out for a whole new Atwood anchor light. All right, so all we got here to replace is just these, or not to replace, but to pop out are just these two screws. Smart to put them in a cup holder so they don't get lost. All right, so every tower is a little bit different. Um, as you can see, I had to remove two more screws to be able to access the wires in here. Um, we're just gonna snip these. Got my nifty tool here. Gonna take a little... Uh, a little off of each one. Don't want to lose it. So, uh, before you move on, the last thing you want to have happen is for these wires to fall through and lose them in the tower. So I just kind of taped them down. Uh, but then, next step is to just get these little uh, wire crimpers on here. Make sure you get, uh, you know, black mashed up with black and white mashed up with white. All right, let's test it out. Make sure it actually works. Bingo. All right, so everything's tight. Feed it back into the tower. You can 
see there's these two holes that just line up with that piece there. And then if you come in close, you can kind of see there's, there's these little teeth in here that kind of allow it to clip into place. So you just need to line it up with that spot right there and just snap it in. It's good to go. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to hit up sales at activewake.com. Give us a call, drop us a note, subscribe to the channel for more install videos.